I'm Dr. Charles Barton. I'm a lecturer here with the Department of Physics at the University of York. I'm also a member of the Nuclear Physics Group, and my particular area of interest is nuclear structure. Um, essentially, how do the protons and the neutrons interact to stay within the atomic nucleus? And how does the shape of the nucleus, because they're not always spherical, they can be deformed, they can vibrate, they can rotate, all kinds of different phenomena can be examined. And all of that tells us with greater insight what is happening to the force between protons and protons, protons and neutrons, and neutrons and neutrons. You might think that's pretty well understood because it's been investigated since the atomic nucleus was discovered by Rutherford here in the UK uh, just over 100 years ago now. But it's uh, a very complicated force. It's, you can't derive it from a fundamental principle. And it's, it's just incredibly rewarding and, and rich to, to investigate this. I study aspects of the nuclear force, and I also look at, at how nuclei undergo reactions. And some of those reactions are important uh, to understand the structure, but they're also important in generating and creating new elements in the universe. And so things from Big Bang nucleosynthesis, where did the first elements come from? All the way up to uh, reactions in explosive stellar environments, some of the largest explosions that we can see here in the universe. Uh, how does the energy get released from the atomic nucleus and how did those explosions create all of the elements, carbon, oxygen, gold, and so on, that we can see around us here on Earth today. We essentially smash nuclei into other nuclei and we see what happens. Sometimes they ring, sometimes they break apart and shatter, and all of that gives us insight into what was there in the first place and if they ring, what's the internal structure that allows those sound waves or these gamma rays to tell us what exists inside.